So now we're going to move on to topic three and look at the CAR model. There's a growing body of research on well-being and it focuses on different components. Four of the most important components combine in our model, which is called the CALM model. And we've chosen these four areas because we really wanted things to be practical and accessible and a way of you being able to work out what's important to you and then make some plans for it. So we start off with the C and that's connected. So it's about our relationships with others and understanding are they where we want them to be. Again, it isn't about our relationships being how other people want them to be. It's about our own assessment of that because our well-being, as we talked about before, is completely reliant on us being able to know what works for us. So the C is around connected. Are we linking with and connected to the people that are the most important to us? And that's inside and outside of work. And it's worth reflecting on times when relationships have been particularly challenging and taking a moment to recognise how does that impact on your well-being? You know, I can think of times where things generally have been OK, but I just haven't felt all right. I haven't felt well. And on reflection, it's because there's a piece of conflict or something going on where things aren't in balance with someone who's really important to me. It has an impact on my overall well-being. So feeling connected to the people that you want to, that's the first letter of our model. The second one is the A for activity and about being active. You know, not all of us will be Olympians, but actually moving around and being active is really good for our health. And we all know that. And so I guess it's about asking ourselves, is my activity level where I want it to be? For my usual parameters, is it in a good place? Or do I need to attend to it? Do I need to, to boost my activity in some way? Because the link between our physical energy and exercise and movement is really strongly linked with our overall well-being. We're then looking at L. And this is about learning. Because when we're carrying on with our life and we're well and things are going okay, we often find ourselves learning all sorts of things because stimulation is really good for our brain and really good for kicking off positive, creative hormones that make us feel good and try new things and feel confident. And so to keep our brain working well, and to enable us to have the stimulation we need, ensuring that we're taking on things that, that give us opportunities to learn, particularly throughout periods of stress, is really important and contributes significantly to our, our ability to keep well. What we learn is up to us because sometimes when things are difficult, it might be because we're taking on too much new learning. But in this model, it's about ensuring that it's learning that is really healthy for us and that doesn't give us additional stress. And the M is for mindfulness. Now, that's not always about doing a formal meditation. There are lots of ways to be mindful. The important thing is about being in the moment so that it's not about planning forward or worrying about the future. And it's not about dwelling on the past or rehashing things. Finding space and time and possibly an activity that works for you, that takes you away from all of those things and gives you something just to absolutely be centred on. Something that you can't think about other things while you're doing. It can be something connected to nature or a hobby or it might be music, relaxation, and of course it may well be mindfulness meditation. Whatever works for you, 
as long as it keeps you centred and gives you a, a moment in time to pause and reconnect with how you are.